six to, or three minutes actually is like two and a half now and the bidding will start so get your finger practice to bending why do I start those things I don't know and I don't I don't know why because then those things get stuck in your head it is Friday I know Jimmy's out of surgery now, folks. Uh, Sandy's going to call in a little bit and give us some more detail. We got one about one and a half minutes left, folks, so get your finger ready. If you like these Afghans, which I know you'll love them, love them, love them. Um, oh, uh, get ready to bid. DeWitt, you are, you are so right. That would be perfect on the bottom of a bed, on the top of a couch. Yeah, Sandy's going to call pretty soon, so we'll pay attention to the phone. Ready? What? Does the bottom get for a party? Five, yeah. 5.58. Oh. We're working on the last minute before the voting, before the... Hey, yeah, have you all voted today yet? Please remember to vote. We're, we're, we're only... 0.18 ahead. 0.18. So vote, 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 vote. And now we're in the last minute. We're in the very last minute. This is always exciting. I can feel my heart pump. In the last minute. So this is A. And this is B. Oh, Michelin saw somebody in the store that looked like you, and she was going to run up and hug her just because she looked like you. Did you? Uh huh. And she was going to um kiss her on the cheek. B. And hey, we're ready. We're just about ready at the six o'clock. It's coming up really fast, so be ready. Please, please, and oh my goodness. Don't forget that um, we have our big day sale tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Oh, I know. We're all going to be wore out. Hey, Michelin, did you hear your box is here? Did you open that cage for the little black and white one? Uh-uh. Jackie did. Oh, I was, trying to, I was trying to do it so she thought you did it. Oh, I mean, Connie did. You know, okay. the other one. We're going we're gonna to put these Afghans in here for just a little while. Tomorrow night, 6 p.m. sharp, we'll be done. And Janet, I'm sure, is going to give us a couple highlights of what's going on here. And in the meantime, we're going to wait for a phone call about Jimmy. <coughs> Sam tracks me sometimes uh -huh. on my phone, but he probably saw your dad. Rascal. Turn that off, Mom. I should. Oops. We're, we have no heads here. That's not such a bad thing, I don't think, sometimes. <laughs> okay. So, let's get cracking. Um, do we have our Mudgy? Mudgy's on. Mudgy, you ready? If you're ready, I'm ready. If Rosemary B's on... I wish you could see Farrah and this little baby kitty is just loving that string that your package came in. Aww. <laughs> Oops, Smudgy, yes, it's ready. So, this one, the, those girls are really, really seriously looking. This came from Walmart, store, store to site, or site to store, whatever, site to store, whatever one that means. And oh my, oh my, this is good. Yeah, then we have toys. We need this. We don't have a, we don't have a name who this is from though, folks. And I sure would like to know who, who this is from. Um. This, we've got two Lysols here, which I so much appreciate. 
because we were getting low on them. I think you guys have mental telepathy of what we need. And we have a big Windex. Oh, my golly. Somebody went into our storage room and figured out what we were low on. Thank you, Windex. Oh, that wasn't nice. And this is the thing that we really need. Is um, the Mr. Clean. I want to see if this is at New Zealand. Oh no, this is Metals and Rain. Thank you to our to our Walmart anonymous friend. If you if you could tell us who did this, we sure would like that. Yeah, Ferris hissing at um, Maui was whacking at her from down below. Oh, oh, Kitty, let me let me go back and catch that. Kiki said. Kiki, Kiki, my cat. Okay, thank you, Kiki. You know you're one of my favorite people because your name is the same as our Kiki, Kiara cat. Yeah, thank you, Kiki, my cat. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, you hit right on what we needed. We have a box here from Whittle Tigger. From Whittle Tigger. Oh my goodness. From Little Tigger. Aww. And this is a case of the Wellna. Little, thank you. This is really nice food. The cats like this. It's good stuff. Somebody again today asked me why our kitty's hair is shining. And I said, it's good food. It's good food. Feed them good food and it makes them healthy all over. And this one is... Oh. Come on, jeez. What <laughs> those babies open? Little, thank you. This is this is actually another much needed item. Is our laundry soap? Little, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is another one that. A few months ago, I looked at this when I went in and checked. And it's like, oh my gosh, we've got laundry soap to last us forever. It doesn't last forever. So I appreciate you helping us restock on this. Um, if you want to set these in on that counter, we'll put those in right away. In the counter back there. In the kitty counter? Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I've been told. That's my job. That's, that's kind of job. Thank you. <laughs> so you can grab and go. Thank you, Whittle. Appreciate ya. Yeah, Libby's here today. Yeah. Um, and then I'll show you the Afghans again, and then by then, by the time we're done, I'm sure that Janet will have something for us to uh, look at in way of uh, the bids. This one is from, oh, this is from Michelin. Michelin? There you are, Michelin. Oops, we got a... I'm not sure what... Oh, my gosh. Oh. Michelin, that is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Michelin, this is just beautiful. I love, hey, <laughs> I love the colors on this. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to open these so we can see Starbella Premier Yarns. Michelin, we're going to go ahead and open these so we can see. Karen. Ooh. Karen's reaching out her hands. I didn't know you one. Um, oh, hey, Karen. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could um, just kind of push this through these and we'll save these yarns? This one is called Dancer. They feel nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. There. On my desk, but also that counter over there. It had been there that same day earlier. Michelin, these are gorgeous. These are. Love it. I love how you wrap these too. 
Karen's tucking that one in her pocket. <laughs> no, she's not. Just kidding. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, wow. This one is called Rumba. Rumba. Yeah. Yeah, if we rub these on Farah, maybe we'll get a million dollars just for Farah. <laughs> oh. Wow. This is Rumba. Oh, look how it gets... It's really pretty. There. Isn't that cool? Hmm. These are really neat. I'd love to see somebody make these. Oh. Ooh. Okay. This one is. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I don't see any of mine. Oh, plum preserves. We're going to do these tomorrow also. We're going to put these in the day sale tomorrow. Let me check here if we got a message. Um, oh, A, A, which is the pink one, is up to $20, is at $20. And B, the cable one, I don't know if that's what it's really called, is at 60 So we have a 20 and a 60 folks. For these, for these, and it is our four crochet. Somebody wants to know. I don't even know. I think the uh, crochet okay. is yeah. crochet. Oh, really? My oh. guess, but I did Well, see, they buy the yarn this way. It's how they put it all together and make it all pink up together. Oh, really? Uh huh. I think so. But because I was gonna say tattoo, is that? Knitting or crochet. Well, Michelin. Michelin, how do you, what do you call that? These are knitted per mish. Knitted. I just, what's the name of this one? I love um, these. Spring ones. bouquet. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Spring bouquet. I love how they feel, too. Yeah. Sure it's really soft. <laughs> Michelin, you fooled me. At first, when I opened it up, I saw the green tea. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> like green tea too, but these are really awesome. Oh, man. Ooh. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I love that one too. This one, your colors that you're using are beautiful. This one is called Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I. This is where we put a price on them, but I have no idea. Somebody help me on that? Mind you, of course, here. Have any idea what they sell for? Yeah, those are beautiful, Michelin. Twenty twenty five, okay, and then we would have our postage on it too. Okay. Wow. Thanks, Mish. Thank you. Thank you, Evil Spirit. When she comes through here, I'll make sure she gets that. 28 in our shop. Okay, cool. Wow. Michelin, thank you. Thank you so much for those. Those are awesome. Really nice. They're very, very soft. Uh -huh. it's, and it's the color combinations that are really neat. Um, oh, this is for seven. Severin, you are too cool. And by the way, I want to thank Dark Cat, Janak, MK Mouse, Mudgy, Nance Pants, and Purple Cat for being our moderators this evening. Well, this these are for us to use for the cute pictures. And we have now a box. Oh my golly. <laughs> we now have a box. Would this look cute on Jack? <laughs> Oh, no, no, not just teasing because Jack doesn't go up on pet finders. But that's what we're going to use these for. And we were going to um, take all those kitties' pictures for pet finders. And now we're down to just three of them. So we're going to have to wait till we get some more kitties. Which, oh, that reminds me, we have something to tell you when we're done. <laughs> so we have two more. Severin, thank you for the. <laughs> oh, 
Thank you for the for the picture fun picture takers. No, Vera hasn't had a med yet. And they're about to stop. No, they go in um, the storage room, the tall brown cabinet. There's a box there at the okay, top. Okay, there's a bag in there. Oh, you want to see? I don't know what that one is. Severin, thank you for helping us. Severin has has gotten us a lot of things for it. This one is from Kiki, my cat. Oh, and these are stickers for um, Hannah. I think that's, are they all stickers? Yep, we're going to just tape that baby right back up. And I'll put that with um, uh, Hannah's things. Karen, can you just take her back? Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, A, the pink one is at 40. B, the long, um, I'm going to call it the couch, couch afghan, is at 75. So 40 and 75 now. Cool. And then we have this package that came all the way from overseas. Whoops. It tells it for you. Oh, right here. Oh, it's from Rosemary B from South Africa. <laughs> Wow. Africa. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. No. South Africa from Rosemary B. Isn't that amazing? Wow, Rosemary. We should save these things for tomorrow. Yeah, for shipping. Oh, here's some more. Oh, my goodness. We're talking something really cool in here. Hey, Connie, yeah. can you please, please, um, I'm just going to take this all out here just real quick. The name that's on there, will you? Uh, yeah, I need to keep that. Whoa, 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 I saw that. Oh, I can't find it anywhere. Rosemary, this is gorgeous and look at the end on it can you see the little um sequences on this and look at the hat that is just beautiful look at that rosemary this is beautiful and each of these tips and these, oh, they're not sequins. This is actually a little bead. And it's weave, it's um, woven into the yarn so they will not come off. Wow. That is really, really pretty. All right, we're going to just put that there. Zelda, I'll be, oh, no strings for kitties. No, no strings, <coughs> Zelda. She's not gonna let go of it. You naughty girl. No, I'm sorry. Just think this came from South Africa. Oh my oh. god, look at this one. Oh this I love these. I had never seen the oh no, no, that one's not connected. So this one is a different kind where it's got two two parts on it. Look at that. And look at this hat. That is so cute. They're chick. Is that what they're called? Cool. Rosemary, these are awesome. So I wonder. Um, uh, Connie, maybe we could keep these in the plastic bag so they stay clean. But I'm going to put Rosemary's name with them. And let's see what this one is, too. Oh. Look at this. Red, white, and blue. Oh, hey, Libby, on the door there. The I just got it. Oh, you did. Okay. Did you get the same thing? Oh. Did you see where he was from? I didn't have it. 
I just had two Libby Happy B right now. Right now. Oh, and tell me who gave that to Libby, please. A necklace with Isn't earrings. Pretty. So cute. And a pretty lip gloss. That's nice. Good girly stuff for Libby. Nice. Eagle Watcher. That's who it was. Yeah. <gasps> thank you, Eagle, Eagle Watcher. Watcher. Yeah. Thank you, Eagle Watcher. Oh, check this out. Hey, Kirsten, can you take that corner there and just hold it up high? Don't let it drop the floor. Look at that. Pretty. That is like nothing we've had here before in way. Oh, Eagle Spirit. It was Eagle Spirit. Yeah. Living. That's right. Or was it Eagle Spirit? <laughs> Eagle Spirit. Yeah, it's an Eagle Spirit. Yeah. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you, Eagle Spirit. Look at the design on there. <laughs> Libby, what's your favorite gum? Liv My favorite gum? Mint gum, like mint. mint. Mint, anything with mint? Yeah, I love mint gum. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you, everybody. Or thank you for all three of these. Rosemary, for all three of these. Beautiful. I love the colors on this. Yeah, we haven't had anything like this one. Um, gosh, Zelda's in the plastic bag. Maybe you could just get another one, do you think? A garbage bag, or a you know, cheap one. Thank you. Oh, I think it's just gorgeous. Yep, auction, auction, auction. I can hear it coming up. And we better open Rosemary's card first, though. We should have done that first, first. It says, my thanks to you. I've never seen God, but I know how I feel. It's people like you who make him so real. That's a verse by Helen Steiner Rice. I love her, um, her cards. And enjoy the chocolate. Dear Jackie, thank you for including us in your internet family and bringing so much joy to us and everyone whose lives you touch. This gift is just a small way of showing our appreciation for all you do. From Rosemary and Shalk um, B. And Mudgy, just so you know, Shalk is S C H. A L K and Spiky. Spiky must be their their kitty maybe. So Rosemary, thank you. Um I know it. It's got a a kitty with wiggly eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. So this came from Rosemary too. This is the milkiest, creamiest bar by far. Milk chocolate from, it's a beacon. And Nestle, isn't that interesting? The coloring on that. Rosemary, thank you. We, we have fun with some of the different kinds of candies. Oh, oh, and look at this. It's got an elephant on it. Oh my gosh, I like that. This is chocolate. No, we're not going to auction that off, Shen. <laughs> but I share it if you come over here. <laughs> Michelin. Mich yeah. And the, oh, look at that. This is Beacon. Um, favorites. All your favorites in miniature. It, it's kind of fun to see how the packaging is different. So some of these are better what we have here in America, but just different packaging. Thank you, Rosemary. Yeah, the candy stays. So sorry. <laughs> hey, Ray, do you want to put that on the counter? How'd you do, Steve? Uh, okay. Is that? Well, what you got there? Oh, you got I, thought I, oh, I thought maybe I yeah. missed a note. Yeah, this, uh, yeah I could come, yeah. Wow, pretty cool. Yeah, oh, oh, I don't know what to say about it. What? That cord. If, you know what will happen is we'll just be doing something, not looking, and bam, it'll be right there in front of us. Yeah, we gave up, and we sure tried. We have been.
This one is from our friend Beach Cats with a K. Beach Cats with a K. And that's Carla C. from Oregon. And Carla from Oregon. Okay, going outside. FFRC Senior Kitties. Oops, wait a minute. This is label one, so we'll do this one first. Aww. Oh, this is one of those lean and tree cat cat cards. It says, thoughts of you keep swimming through my head with love from our, our seniors to yours, Mikey, who is 14, Buddy, who is 12, and Sweetie, who is 10. In honor of our April birthdays, we wanted to help and share hugs, headbutts, and purrs. Look at the picture inside. Aw, thank you. From, from some senior cats to other cats. We're going to put this one up over here. And wonder if we got another update. Don't forget our Afghans are going right now. This is another lean and tree. These are such cute cards. Oh, what was the third third kitty thing? Buddy, was it? Sweet pea. Sweet pea. Oh. This is Dear Jackie, in honor of the kitties and my birthday. Happy birthday, Carla. Please accept this donation to use any way you like to help the FFRC kitties. I can't think of anything that would make me happier for my special day. Please give Bondi Girl some extra love from me. Love, purrs, and headbutts from Carla C., who is Beach Cat, and Mikey, Buddy, and Sweet Pea. And so, Maggie, if you could put that there's a donation in there from from Carla and all her kitty cats. Carla, hope your birthday, whenever it was there, was happy, happy, happy. Appreciate you. Hey, Connie. Yes. Uh, just by the way, I have a picture of a chicken here with a knitted vest on. Wanted to share that with you. With me. Isn't that um, That's one of our viewers' chickens, and it was cold that one night. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> So Carla sent the kitties in our hoodies. Whoops. Hang on. Oh, this is a Jimmy update. Hang on, folks. Hello. Hello. Yeah.
แบบอีกหนึ่งไหมout of surgery he's back in his room and uh, they did remove uh, the tumor and it was located not on the outside of the tummy but on the outside of uh, the colon and it had ruptured so the the kind of tumor he had is an extremely rare type of tumor they said um, just very very rare they hardly ever see it um, but they think that they got it all and um, they're sending it of course to the lab to see if it would be cancer or benign so that we won't know for a little bit yet so he's feeling kind of groggy he's going to be in there a couple extra days because of the incision uh, that they had to make and uh, it may not be he may not get out of there till the beginning of the week so, uh, no wonder, I know, I know it. And that was so odd because that day he had been working and he came in the house and just kind of went like this and said that he was having a little pain and as he was standing there, it got worse. So, we kicked him out, told him to get going to there. And, uh, you know, you just sometimes don't know whether you go in or not. So, yep, lots of prayers for him and his family. Yeah, it's, this has been a real hard thing this week. Yeah, yep. So, um, so just keep Jimmy in your prayers and his family, and we'll know more later. And uh, he's already wants to come back. And, he, and I told him, I said, you, your place is here when you're ready. So I'm glad it's done, too. It's, I think that's been really hard waiting these, what, three days. To, to know that you know you're going to have to do this yeah so thank you and it means a lot to him that you guys are all there for him good job do you want to rinse them off for him and then put him in the fridge yeah he's just so sweet so Carla um, I'm going to finish Carla's box Carla's got um, some snackers in here for the kids, and the kids love this. And there's three other bags of snackers. So we got our snack supply. And then, hmm? I snuck by you. I was talking in some room, so you probably were out. We also have some um, appetizers. There's six, five, five appetizers. Honey, I really wish you wouldn't do that. And there's also four cans of um, a frisky, which you know we use a ton of this, and four cans of fancy feast. No, that is not right. There's five cans of fancy feast, and there's also three cans of sardines. Do the horses eat? Are they out? Horses? Are they out? They're not out, are they? I thought no. they were. They're in. You just want to know if you should give them hay. Give them a little. Yeah, a little hay and water. And water. There's three cans of sardines, which I've not heard of this one. Part Port Clyde. We'll try this one. Mom, Mom, the donkey and the goat too. No. 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 No donkey, no goats. And we will deliver this to the person that it's supposed to go to. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Oh, Connie. One of the Animal Planet Live cams has one with chickens on it. You have got to watch that. All right. I will go home and look for yeah, we don't soap them. We just rinse water off of them to get um, any poo off of them. Oh, wash my feet for you. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I did <laughs> I'm just throwing things around. And Zelda, you were just always. You said, oh, I'm in the way.
Wayne. But you're cute. She's so cute. She is so darn cute. Okay, Zelda, if you could help me lift this up, it'd be even better yet. It's pretty light. <laughs> Sorry, Zelda. It's all pretty sad after. Uh oh, maybe we have an update. Let's see. I think, I think maybe we have an update. Oh, we have 80 on A. That's the mob one, and we have 80 on B now. So 80 and 80. Get that finger on. 80 and 80. This one is from our friend Connie G. C O N I I. From Connie. Oh my golly, Moses. Oh. Jackie volunteers and kitties. Would you be a kitty? Oh. So cute. Sending you the warmest fuzzy that ever was. <laughs> As always, thank you for all you do for FFRC. Oh. Oh, Connie, your cards are always so sweet. I, I love them. Thank you, thank you. Oh, enclosed is a gift for your office. Gifts for the pink and blue kitty room and gifts for the teal and aqua room. Enjoy. Connie and Madison. M-A-D-I-S-S-Y-N. And Elliot. Purrs, hugs, and much love. Honey, look at that. So this is for our our baby room that has to be this. Oh, let's put this down. Let's get this out. Oh, what's this though? This is oh, is that two? It is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, you know what? These would fit on the Karanda bed. Oh, the kitties would be able to get in there. Oh, oh, how cute. Connie, we'll put these up. I got a couple. Aren't those so cute? We'll put these up. Um, I've got a couple things hanging on the wall, and it, it does. It looks so cute. People go in there, and they just, oh, I love this room. Oh, my gosh. We'll do that. Maybe that's why it's killing spaces. Maybe, maybe it is. Oh, my word. Well, what, why, what maybe we better. Favorite? I'm afraid the kids will get those, so I put them up. And here's the blue. Oh gosh, Connie, these are cool. Um, wow. There's so many pinks. There's so there's two pinks. There's three blues. And look at this blue. Oh. Tina, how do we do this? That goes oh, here we go. I knew there would be a way. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> we can put a kitty in there and carry that around. Oh, Connie, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, there's two. There's, there's actually another one of these also. So there's two of these little um, cave beds. They're like cave little cribs. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a blue one of this too. Connie will get these. Oh no, 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 no. You know what? These are the teal, aren't they? These are the teal ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, these aren't the blue, these are teal. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. And you know what? Here, I know your girls are getting ready to go. So here, why don't you take that into June room? And June room and June room. They, what, no, would you put it in June for me? You want to do that for me? So put it in the millions for them. Because we thought, Kirsten thought you would like that. Yeah, I do. I thought so. Would you, thank you, honey, for doing that. And two pinky blankies. We'll get these in that room. Thank you, Connie. And we have one more thing here. We better save. We're going to have to get some of this. Yeah, that one you might not be able to save. <laughs> Did you girls getting something for your dad, too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You can always tell when the girls are getting ready to go home. Mm -hmm. You start packing a few snackers. Honey, I love this wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's got butterflies on it. Isn't that pretty? A little something for your office window. I know. What do you think it is? I'm always, I'm always a. When you open something, do you fold it? Yes, or do you rip, rip it open? It. That's what I do too. That's to rip it open. Okay. What do you think it is? A cheese mm -hmm. A what? A cheese thingy? Oh, that's beautiful. I saw that. Rip it, rip it, tear it. I'm afraid I'll jump off myself in the face. <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, Connie. Beautiful. Look at that. Hey. And it. It's got purple around to oh, match the. It does. Oh, to match the this purple is cool. Theme. Yeah, look, it's got the purple, and that's a perfect color. Leave, yes. can't leave it to Karen to notice that. <laughs> that's a perfect beautiful. lavender. It's beautiful, beautiful. Grandma, and look, black and white. It will. Yes. Oh, Connie, this is just gorgeous. I love, love, love it. Yeah, we'll get that hung up. That and the teddy or the bunnies tomorrow. Yeah, can you imagine that? You used to do stained glass, Stinky? Oh my gosh. Wow. Connie, thank you. I love that. Look at the flowers, even. Oh boy. Yep, I love that. Thank you. That's very special. I'm going to stick it up here and put this, put those in there too, so we can do these tomorrow. And over there. And before I give you all an update, let's see what we're doing here. Um. We've got, Janet, is it still 80 and 80? 80 and 80, Janet? Yeah, whoops, here we go. Let's see. Okay, yep, it's still 80 and 80. So A, the mob one, is, is at 80. And the... This cable one, oh, I, I just love these colors. Aren't they beautiful? It's also at 80. There you go. Oh, there's a good shot of it, how pretty the colors are. Thank you all. This rescue center would be not where we are today without your help. Okay, she just want to come out. Oh, I have some cards. Yes, we need to do our cards. Thank you, Faithy. I'm going to just kind of roll these up for a minute. But don't forget to keep it on them. Can I? I'm going to try to see if I can find the cord. Okay. You guys get a new for effort, that's for sure. This one is from Brenda W. from Michigan, and I think these are coupons. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, no. Aw, what are you doing, Lyndon? Happy birthday, Lyndon. Happy birthday, Lyndon. Yes, it is. Aww. These are Brenda's kitties. Oh, my. That's Domino. And <laughs> Soma is a four-year-old collie mix. Spicy is three years old. Oh, that's a cutie. Josie Kitty is four years old, a Duluth Calico. And Wiggles, two years old, is a Dachshund mix. Aw, very, very cute. I love seeing you guys with kitties. 
Here's a recipe. Oh, <laughs> turn heart healthy sardines into a nutritious lunch. When uh, Janet comes, Janet, we're going to have to try this. We're going to have to try that. Says, I couldn't resist sending this recipe to you. Thought of you right away. I think Janak would make it for you instead of eating them. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's hard to believe that through a camera that kitties would fill my heart with joy and heartache. But that they have and you and the volunteers have. It's a joy to see such wonderful caring people. These are my fur babies, all from animal control. Spicy, she is the boss of the house. I call her my little stinker. I picked the right name for her. She also is the smallest. She makes me think of Bravo. He stole my heart the second I saw him. Bravo is very special to me because I'm a double amputee below the knees. It just hit close to home. I'm so happy he was there for his short life and knew he was loved. Soma, who is Amos spelled backwards for father-in-law, she's a nice and gentle dog just like Amos was nice and gentle man. People wouldn't know that with her bark. Wiggles, it fits him, the troublemaker, but he knows Spicy is the boss. Josie the kitty, she doesn't respond to Josie, but she does to kitty. We got her the end of February because Spicy didn't do much after Domino passed away. They have started to chase each other. Kitty loves to be petted and brushed even in the middle of the night several times. She is a talker. Domino was a four-year-old. She passed away from hardening of the heart just before Penn and Teller went home. It was hard watching them without thinking of Domino. Yeah, Domino is the white one here. She was by me most of the time. She loved being petted and brushed all over. I miss her dearly, but glad to have her have had her in my life. Glad Penn and Teller found a home together. Thank you for sharing your loving home, for teaching many things that you do. Also, thank you to all the volunteers, especially Connie. She is the best. They all are. She, she's my favorite, Brenda. Brenda, thank you. Did you have to pay her for that? Um, well, actually, um, we can put a couple, well, maybe like a blue one and a pink one in, in there now, and then we'll just keep trading them off. Oh, and this, oh, Brenda, thank you. This is Brenda's um, cookie, or, no, it isn't, her cookbook uh, order. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you for your letter. Oh, boy. Um, this is from Elizabeth H., New Jersey. Oh, and this was, this. thank you. This is for Sally's uh, Blanky. Whoops, I better take that check out. I don't want to ever use those. Um, that's for Sally's Blanky for, for Sally. Um, yes, that's from Beth. Thank Beth. you. Thank you. Thank you. Gee, I think she might be. John. Yeah. You love your blankie, huh? It does oh, I don't think she's on. It's going on. But the the girls are saying thank you to Beth for the um, blankies. I want to show you. I want to show mine. HR. See up there? That's us, um, some cheap notes. Okay. This came yeah. from Florida. And I it sure it. And this came from Florida. There she is. Here, Ken Kirsten. Here she is, right there. See where it says Eagle Watcher? It says you are welcome. And you too, Colin. Yeah, blankies work good around the shoulders, too. Um, this is from Steve and Nancy S. from Florida. And there's a bunch of coupons in here, which, of course, we will. Thank you very much. And there's also, oh, she's got a note on there that she loves us. There's also uh, her kitty, Lonnie, and Nico. Nico, or whoops, backwards. Nico, 
and Lonnie. Look at that. Boy, those are two big bo two big kitties. Gorgeous cats. Yeah. Yeah, you I know, Emmy. I know. You're you're absolutely right. Bravo Bravo was a brave boy and he shown a lot to a lot of this one is from Kiki my cat. Kiki my cat. And Kiki is also from Florida. I love your envelope here, Kiki. Not sure if I can get in there, but how'd you do that? Don't forget your bag. This is from Kiki. Look at this. This is so nice. This is from Kiki. And it says, Happy birthday to the weddies. When God made cats, when God made the world, he chose to put animals in it and decided to give each whatever it wanted. All the animals formed a long line before his throne, and the cat quietly went to the end of the line. To the elephant and the bear, he gave strength. To the rabbit and the deer, swiftness. To the owl, the ability to see at night. To the birds and the butterflies, great beauty. To the fox, cunning to the monkey intelligence, to the dog loyalty, to the lion courage, to the otter playfulness, and all these were things the animals begged of God. At last he came to the end of the line, and there sat the little cat, waiting patiently. What will you have? God asked the cat. The cat shrugged modestly. modestly. Oh, whatever scraps you have left over, I don't mind. But I'm God. I have everything left over. Then I'll have a little of everything, please. And God gave a great shout of laughter at the cleverness of this small animal and gave the cat everything she asked for, adding grace and elegance and, only for her, a gentle purr that would always attract humans and assure her a warm and comfortable home. But he took away her false modesty. Lenore asked, um, and this is from Kiki, my cat. This is cool. Thank you, Kiki. And those are our four woody babies that have a happy birthday today. Sure, Karen, they'd like to see Dulce again. Oh, yeah. Do you know what all your toy bags I don't. Why don't you do your watch Yes. What? Is something wrong? Well, I want you to give him a collection. Oh, we're going to change the Yeah. The, 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 the little fall like that. Okay. Too. This is what all the medicine that he's going to get his kitty. Yeah. It's going to help him. Okay. Well, you can't be so long that you took it. And so it's looking out. Let me go get him. He's got one more medicine for him. Let me get you. Well, well, let's go say bye while we're waiting for him. Thank you for the blanket. I really like it. You say bye, Dose. We'll be back soon, right, Dose? We'll be back soon to play. He's okay. He has a little bit of loose stool, so we're just uh, giving him some, some meds for that. But he's doing really good. Hmm. He is. He's getting big, isn't he? <laughs> okay. This is 
just a raft of this medicine. We're going to do this and get it the same kind of stuff. You're going to put this in the food. And all you're going to do is try to like that little bit that I told you. Oh, like that much in his food. But do it separate because I'm not sure about the taste on that. So you don't want him to have to eat a whole lot of everything to get to it. And do that once a day. Okay. It's mm -hmm. This have to be some of you. You got, I gave you I gave those some to me and the other friend. Give them the meal. That once a day. And then the other medicine, whatever I wrote. The mirror. The mirror was earlier. Metamucil. I'm sorry. Metamucil. Okay. So then the letter is Okay. It does. It does look like some. Don't we give him three days? Hopefully he'll be. Okay. It's gotta be better. I will. You make sure you wash your face before you go to bed. You've been playing with the piggies. Love you, girl. Love you too. Love you, grandma. I'll see you later. Grandma, I have to make some bad boys. You're welcome. Thank you for helping me look. Um, B, the table afghan is up to 85 now, folks. 85, so you can vote anything from a dollar to twenty dollars. So for eighty six dollars, you could have your bid on that. Um, Karen asked me. Wow. Right yeah. Uh, Emmeline asked to come out. Hey, Kellen, do you have your iPad? We didn't bring it. Oh, you didn't bring it. Lose it. Lose uh -huh. it. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whoa. Yes, Tom. Em Emma just oh, ran through. Did you get that one? This, this that now that one's Maui. This one, this is from um, Saint Paul, Saint John's Lutheran Church in Paulding, and it, and it's in a kid's writing. It says, "Dear friends of Feline's Rescue Center, hi, my name is Derek M. My church is Saint Paul Lutheran in Paulding. Did a mission fair project as part of our confirmation class." We were to choose an organization that serves God's creatures or people. My pastor represented your organization. I have raised money to help your organization too. I am a lover of cats, so that's why I picked your organization for my project. Thanks for all you do for cats, Derek M. And, um... So it looks like from what I'm seeing here, and I'm going to say this amount, it looks like Derek, this young fella, raised $48 for the rescue center. And then the church itself, the Lutheran church women, gave a donation as well. That's pretty cool. Eric, Derek, if you're on, thank you so much. You know, these kids... They're, they're our future. we got to teach them the right way to do by animals. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. And thanks for his church for teaching these kids. That's right. Um, oh, this, oh, this is from our friend Jim T. and his family. They're the ones that help sponsor Emmeline. And they've sent a donation for Emmeline. And the reason that they love Emmeline so much is because their kitty looks a lot like Emmeline. And this one is Smokey and Blackie. Look at those eyes. And here is another one. Both those are... Emmeline look-alikes. Aren't, aren't, isn't she gorgeous? Wow. And Jim 
he they they have liked Emmy for a long time. It says, "Hi Jackie, I'm having my dad Jim type this for me as I dictate. First, let me say I send my love to all the wonderful people who support FFRC, all the volunteers, cameras, mods, lurkers, and admins, and of course special hugs to you. I would not be writing to you if it had not been for my humans saving me from an uncertain fate." You see, I was a very young and pregnant kitty, about 9 to 10 months old. I have never shared my experience with mom and dad as it is in the past, and I want to leave it there. I showed up at their place, and they felt sorry for me. They already had a beautiful rag doll cat, and they told me they wished they could help, but just knew Sissy would not tolerate another cat. I was persistent in hanging around and showing my sweetness. Dad finally said I could stay in his office and that I could have my babies there. I was taken to the vets for a complete checkup and shots. I had four beautiful babies. One calico, Dad named him Mini-Me, an orange tabby, and two inkies. Oh, I know who those two inkies are then, I'll bet. The plan was to keep me because I was so sweet and find homes for the babies. Sometimes plans do not always work out. Wonderful homes were found for the calico and orangey, but only weird people wanted the inkies, and mom and dad were not going to give them to anyone. So I am here with my two boys, who will be three in June. Mom and dad love all of us and spoil us pretty good. Dad says I was a gift from God, as Sissy passed away last April at 12 years old and is sadly missed by all of us. I do my best to show my love and appreciation every day. I appreciate FFRC so very much because I can appreciate a cat being given a second chance to be loved and cared for. As you know, when you announced that Emma would be a permanent resident, Dad sent you an email offering to adopt her for the rescue center. He told me he did this for me so I could have a Calico sister. We love her and are so glad she is doing better. We do miss seeing her on the cam and hope during kitty season she can spend some time loving the babies. We only want the best for her and know you are spoiling her daily. I heard Dad telling Mom that he was simply that he simply is going to have to make a trip to FFRC and meet all the cats. Well, that's about it. It is time for my morning fancy fee snack. I guess I am a little spoiled myself. Love, Callie. What a wonderful, wonderful letter. Thank you, Jim and your family. Um, you just saw Emmy, Emmeline, Emmy go running by. She's feeling the best right now that she has for a long time. And, um, it thrills me to, uh, to see Emmeline being like how she is. And she's playing in the house. And when she comes out here, it's because she's asking to come out. She'll come, she'll go to the door and went out. So Jim, thank you to you and your and your family and your babies and your kitties. I think we have another update. B, the cable one, <laughs> is up to a hundred dollars. Yeah, up to a hundred dollars. She is not getting laser treatments. We were we did do one and then we decided not to because there is a high chance that what this is on her face might be cancer. Um, if it is, it's very, very slow, and it's just kind of maintaining, so we don't want to um, push the issue with it. Uh, this one is from Trudy S. from Bryan, Ohio, which is our next-door neighbor state from Trudy. Oh, county, city. <laughs> uh, and, Mudgy, if you could put that uh, Trudy sent uh, a donation. It says, thank you. Oh, for the cute magnet with the little cat house. It's on my fridge. Thank you, Trudy. We like, we like sending those. Emma, or Emma. Oh, you Zelda. This is for Joyce D., our friend in California. Yeah, I do too, Nina. She's really wonderful with the kitties. Oh, <laughs> says, it's your birthday. Wave to the pheasants. <laughs> but only if you want to. Didn't realize it was Bella's birthday. I have been saving this card especially for her. Because see the crown? 
and Bella is indeed worthy of a crown. Give her a big hug. Uh, best of everything for Bella, you and all the volunteers, Joyce. Joyce, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll put this one up too. Whoa, I think that means that something's happening. Let's see. Oh, that's just a reminder to me. Yep, B is up to 100. Excuse me, Zelda Zelda. Oh, this is from Irene. From Irene. Oh, it looks like it got a little bit crunched, crunched in the mail a little bit. Irene. Irene, thank you. Yes, Connie got her rooster shirt. Yes. Oh, and it says open. Mewie wishes for a happy birthday. Belated happy birthday, Lady Doc and her kitty. I think it's sneakers. Thank you, Lady Doc. Appreciate that. What is that? Uh, yep, I'm okay. Got one more. Hey, yeah, and Karen helped with the laptop. Here, honey, would you take this in? Oh, is that right? Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> oh, you. This one is from um, Erica B. And I think it says Kathy O from Florida. Oh, a Dr. Seuss, which is always awesome. One thanks, two thanks, three thanks. Oh, no. One two thanks, two thanks, big thanks, true thanks. Thanks from near and thanks from far. Thanks for being who you are. Thanks for everything you do. So full of thank yous, thanks to you. Amazing. We have my, oh, I have done for those lucky kitties, Kat, Kathy and Erica. And my G, Erica is E-R-I-K-A. Yeah, and Kathy is with a C. Oh. And, uh, er, uh, Mudgy, if you could put that there's from Erica and Kathy that there is a donation. And I appreciate that very much. Oh, boy. This is, oh, my golly, does that look. Oh, you know what? Check that out. That's the palm tree. At first I thought it was a real one. Then it's like, no, that's him bro. Saki, S-A-K-I, with a new palm tree. Look at that. That is awesome picture. And Kobe, Lucy, Pepito, and Saki. I love these names. And they love each other. Aww. I like that. I love that card, Dr. Seuss card. It says, Mama Jackie, we are Willard's new furry brother and sisters. Our mommies keep talking a lot about our new baby brother. That's coming. We don't really understand what they are talking about, but they are very excited, so we are excited too. So these, these guys here are Willard's to be brother and sister. Brothers and sisters, we brought we bought a palm tree for him because they said he's crazy about the one at his current house. Once again, we don't understand because we live in Florida and there are palm trees everywhere. But now we have one on our back porch. And they got a tree for Willard. Our mommies watch boxes every night and see all the wonderful things that the wonderful people send. We told them that they should send a donation to help out Willard's buddies or for anything extra they might need. So please use it where needed. Thank you for taking care of our baby brother. His kisses and headbutts, Kobe the dog, Pepito, and Lucy, who's the orangey, and Saki the minx. 
see you the weekend of April 13th. So this is Willard's new family. Willard! He should fit in there. Look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? That I love to see these kind of things. Yeah, so that's going to be Willard's family. Aww. Yeah. He's such a good kitty cat. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Erica and Kathy. I'm so excited. That's really wonderful. All right, that's all we have in the cards and the boxes. Just wanted to give you a really quick update on a couple things. We've got some exciting news and some new news and some and a little bit of an update. Um, uh, Gallant had his had his uh, let's turn this around. Yeah, had his laser treatment today. And the company that sells the laser light, the, oh, laser light, the laser machine, is very, very interested in Gallant's progress um, because our vets have been keeping Little Frank. Um, I don't think I've seen that yet, Little Frank. Okay, I will double check everything and make sure it's not on the counter at home or in the house. Okay. Um. Hi, Hello. I'm just finishing up here. Uh, so anyhow, the yeah, Gallant did an awesome job, and the company that has the laser machines have been really interested in Gallant's uh, progress on that. And uh, so Gallant's doing great. Their machine goes back on Tuesday. So I was really kind of sad about that because obviously Gallant isn't done yet. But we have something really, 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 really cool that's going to happen. Um, I'll look for it, Faithy. Oh, and it's okay. I'll look for it. Um, and thank you, Faithy. Um, we have a fella or, uh, that is an anonymous friend. Hang on a second on that thought because I don't want to lose that. Yes, I did, and I meant to mention that. Uh, I took that paper in the house. I, uh, Mudgy, could you put on there that I we did get a e? Actually, I think I put that in the blog today. An e gift card from Nadine. But if you could, Mudgy, put that on there for me. An e gift card from Nadine. So thank you. That was really cool. Yeah, from Lowe's. Okay. So, back to this felon. I'm just going to do the cam so I don't get mixed up with where I'm going. Um, so, we have a, an anonymous friend who was very, very interested also in the progress that uh, that Gallant has made. And he has offered to, to purchase a laser machine just for FFRC. I was stunned. I know it. I was stunned. I was absolutely like, and, and then it, this all happened around April Fool's Day. I didn't tell him this, but this all happened around April Fool's Day. And I thought, this has to be an April Fool's joke. This has to be. This has to be. And it's not. It is it's really happening. Um, I know. They, he, we, we here are getting our very own um, laser machine and because of this purchase from this company and I talked to them again today and because our vet office was also involved in all this they are going to give us a very very special deal with a five-year full warranty and they're going to give the same offer to our vets office and so because of that they also get to get a brand new one also so good for us, good for them, and I was blown away, totally blown away. Yep, holy moly is for sure. So um, the, actually the laser machine is pretty simple to use. I've seen it in action. They usually do this real quick over the phone, little video, we're on our way. It, all it is is a matter of measuring thickness, distance, size, 
you set the machine, machine does it all. He can continue to have them two to three times a week, which is what we'll continue to do. So anything, this, these laser machine is for um, arthritis, so this will be good for our oldsters. It's also, it, I know. <laughs> it's actually what they basically say like in a nutshell it's for good for everything and anything other than cancer so they don't want us using it on cancer cells um, a putter, remember what I said about um, putter the day that we did our surgery two and a half weeks ago or so that we did his hips front of his knees and the back of his knees and that day then I, I know I said this but that's been a while ago I had not seen him using our steps in the house for weeks and weeks that day I for sure myself saw him go up the steps and down the steps three different times I was astounded at that and then the next morning when I came out and saw uh, Gallon's wound already looking smaller I was just blown away too it was just amazing so, uh, I'm so grateful. Yep. I'm just uh, so grateful beyond words. And uh, this is a really cool opportunity to uh, for us to be able to continue the care that we like to do for our cats. And uh, I'm just thrilled. Yep, I got it all taken care of. It's already ordered. It should be here on Tuesday. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Uh, so, awesome, 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 awesome. So I'm grateful to this person that was confident enough in ourselves that we would put something like this to good use. Uh, well, let's go right on into heaven, and then we'll go on to something else I have for you. Um. Here I haven't had her meds yet. No. Nope. So, on heaven, uh, heaven went in uh, this morning with Gallant. She stayed there, and then Steve went up this afternoon to pick her pick her up. Uh, her face is a little bit worse the last couple of days than when she first came in. There's there's no doubt. We've taken pictures, and there's no doubt that it it has continued to enlarge on her face. Um, I, as you guys know, I'm always very optimistic person. I just always try to eke out the best and hope for the best on everything. Um, both of our vets feel very strongly that it is cancer. Uh, but they did do in, in hopes that it's not. No, she's not in any pain other than when I kind of wipe it a little bit. Um, she's not, I really seriously do not think that she is in pain. If she, and if she was, showed any discomfort, we would definitely treat her for soreness. Absolutely. Uh, but both of our vets looked at her. And because of now that we know her history, we're, they, they both felt very strongly that it is cancer. So uh, we won't know positively until Tuesday. The results will be back. We're keeping her surgery appointment for Wednesday. Uh, it's... If it's positive, we're just going to cancel that surgery because even if it is negative, there's, there's, it's going to be a little difficult to do any kind of reconstruction on her. Um, this cat is just soaking up all the love that she can get from us. She's just, is just pulling it right out of us. It's just really awesome to hold her and love on her and pet on her. But what she's taking from us, she's also giving to us. And I'm, I've never felt as strong about that with a cat as what I am her. She just just loves to be held, and you can, you can feel that from her. So this is the thing, though, folks, is I had said this the other day. I'm not going to hide her. This is a rescue center, and these cats, no matter what they look like, is going to get all the love that we can give them. And she's becoming where she wants out she knows that door is in here and she is eventually going to come out here um, just because that test may be positive might be we're still holding out um, doesn't mean that we are going to put her to sleep right away 
I already have talked to our vets about this again today too, and they wanted to discuss that with us too. That um, there's no reason that we have to just because we find out that test might be positive that we have to put her to sleep right then. We don't have to do that. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, no matter what the outcome is, we will go by her symptoms, not by what people think, not by what people say, but by her symptoms. Is she still happy today? Is she still eating? Is she still walking around and wanting to be loved on? Just, we're going to let her tell us. Uh, nope, I think we're just going to keep her out here, So because I'm out here almost all the time. My these cats out here get a whole lot more attention than mine inside even. So she will stay out here. We're gonna we will bring her up into June's room. And um I know that it will be hard for some of you when you do see her. I know that it will be hard. And we I will never just say, Oh, here she is. We will do this when I'm ready and she's ready and you're ready and um but by golly, I'm not going to hide her, and I'm not going to make her live in a room. And when she's ready to come out here and be a part of us, then we're going to we're going to support that and let her be what she wants to be here. So that's that. On to a new note, and uh, we've got this one lady that was here a couple years ago had a situation that um, we encouraged her so much. I remember her after she got here. To please, please, please spay and neuter your pets. She didn't come here to for us to take her pets. She just wanted to know what she should do about the overpopulation problem in her area. She's been trying to spay and neuter as many kitties and cats as what she can, and she's got it under control. Awesome, awesome lady. She had them all spayed except one. She ran out of money, she said. And I just wanted to hug her. She ran out of money on the last one. It's a white cat, and I took we took her, this mommy and her, and her three babies. Babies are probably four to five weeks old, and uh, they they are tested negative. And uh, the, there's three babies. One is a tortie, that's as cute as a bug, and the other two are white like what she is. So uh, this lady, I know she was wonderful, and she did what we asked her to do, and. It just thrills me when people know the answer to that overpopulation is to spay and neuter. She, but she was doing other people's cats. They kept dumping them off, but she did it. Um, now, the problem with these kitties, other than they're very, very healthy and eating like little piggies. Did you see them back there? No. In Thumper's room. And they're very, very cute, but they got ringworm. <laughs> so, oh. We always get this. So they're going to be staying in Thumper's room for a while. Oh, they do, but they're already being treated. They've already had their bath. They've already had their meds started. So we're just being careful. There's three babies and one mommy. And bless this lady's heart. She just thought, you know, it was just um, just um, scabby skin. <laughs> so she was just a dear, dear, dear lady. You know, I'm going to check into that, Kiki. I thought of that. If nothing else, it might help that skin to heal. And I am definitely going to ask. I thought about that after I talked to the fella today. Kitties are probably about four to five weeks old. Oh, no. No, thank you, thank you. Oh, for the birthday. For the birthday money, thank you. Let's see, kids, kids are awesome. Parents teach them. Kids will learn. Thank you. Um, yeah, I can take the can back there as long as you promise not to touch them. Okay? Can't touch them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll show them to you. They're not named. They they barely have had their bath. They're, they're, they haven't even had their vaccine. Or mommy hasn't even had a vaccine yet. Yeah, we'll show them to you. So they're really cute, but they do have, their, have the fungus. The fungus is among us. But you know what? It doesn't matter because um, the cats that's in here, we also have everybody in here at the moment on the ringworm medicine too because I saw a tiny little bit on one of the kitties that was adopted, which it's okay because they also had their baths and went. They'd been on, on the ringworm medicine for over a week, so they're fine. <laughs> yeah, you better watch it, Queen. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. 
Joyful is still in Thumper's room. Who? Oh, good. No, I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna. They can't come in here because of their fungus. So I'm gonna give these folks a ride. In the new building, showing that. We have to be really careful with the cord. Oh, I'm telling you, if I'm never on a starving island, I want you to save me. <laughs> Sally, where are you going, baby girl? We're going to put you here for just a minute. Sally, you are so beautiful. We got the double wide, double long cage. Okay, here we go. And here's Bondi. Can you see Bondi? Can you see her? Yep, you're right on. That's Bondi. And this is Al, who is upset because Zavatar has his bed. Zabby, zabby, zabby. Okay. <laughs> There's our little Joyful, and I promise you, she has not been in there all day. She's actually been cruising about. Every time we come back here, Joyful, though, you're in there. All right, and here's Mommy. Here's mommy with one of the torty or with the torty. You guys are enjoying your canned food, aren't you? Oh, look at little torty. Yeah, I've got to wash my face. And then here's the two little white ones. Oh, you guys are so cute. And they both have a little bit of gray. On their face, uh, on their their uh, top of their head, you can see the hair loss on them. And actually, we're we're on the good side of this. They got quite a bit of it: ears, their temples, their nose. These two haven't. Mommy's got just a tad bit, and Torty has just a tiny bit. But they'll get better fast. And we've got them on the meds, and the meds the the fulvacin that we use is a real godsend because it, it nips it really quick. <laughs> is she sleeping or? No. <laughs> okay. And Bill's giving uh, our heaven girl a good old loving section. Oh dear, let's get that. Okay, so this is the door that everybody comes in. I'm going to give you the back way because we can't get in the, any other way to the new part. This is the side. They got the house wrap on it now. That's the insulation wrap. And they covered up the windows just in case it rains this weekend. Hey, there's our little boy, Fabio. So that's the, the one side, and now we have a door up, and this is, boy, it's kind of dark in here. I wonder if they can see. This is the mail room, and if I can go, oops, Fabio, you got to stay out, buddy. Whoop. Am I, do I have room yet, Bill? Okay, so we wrap around the corner. And that continues to be the mail room. So that's the L. Got the two windows there. Another window there. And another window there. No ceiling yet, but we got a roof. So this isn't this nice and big. And then there's a door here that goes into Thumper's room. So where the two by fours are there by the third pile of insulation that this is here I'll stand back here so this is all the thumpers room nice size room 
One window there, another window here. This is the furnace room, and it'll also have plenty enough room in there for some cleaning supplies. And then this is our little weird thing here that we we had to do to make everything work. Um, this door here will go out to, well, they had to take some of the siding off. <laughs> um, this is where my dogs will go out to go out to their area. And this right here will open up and open into this. This area here is a four by eight section. And then we will come here into the new part of the thumpers room um, through this way. So that's it so far. The next thing on the list is to get the furnace people here to get the furnace in and all the duct work in in the in the, in the ceiling. <laughs> Here we go. Bill's trying to help me keep the cord in shape here. Dawn Star and Janet's always telling me, take care of that cable. Take care of that cable. Okay. Whoops. Okay, and we're back. Was it very dark in there, or could you see? Well, fiddle pal. Could you see okay, or was it too dark? Okay, good. <laughs> good. I know, yep. I can't wait. The mail room will be, oh my word, will be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So one mommy with three kitties, three babies. You know, actually, ringworm is is uh, something that will they say will go away by itself you know look how many cats are out there that do get it and have no treatment and it does go away the thing is here we're at jeopardy because there's so many so we do treat we jump on the whole oh man when we get it here we jump on it and that's remember that medicine that costs so much a bottle of I just got another bottle today and a bottle of it of a hundred tabs is six hundred and thirty dollars it used to be um, 700 so it's come down a little bit, uh, but it works. Uh, the hair will grow back, and actually, if you could see on that where the um, fur was missing or thin, that there's new growth already on that, so this was already phasing out on them. Yep, you got it, Shan. And, we call, and uh, some of it, I think the one we have is like the fulvus, and it's all in the same family. Say thank you for helping. Hey, no problem. Yeah, Ferris still needs her meds wherever she is now. I gotta find her. Hey, oh, I thought he was too young. Jack is wonderful. He's he's the master of his own self. He knows what he wants and he gets it. Yes, ringworm can be transferred to humans. That's but that's the other good thing for us. Uh, starting on medicine is that it cuts that percent down to, to way, way, way down there. Um, what was that question? I missed that was a good question. Oh, yeah, ringworm is not a worm. It's a fungus. It's a spore. Gallant still needs his collar. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. He is. He's doing really good. And I'm astounded that he not being around cats before is doing as well as he does. How many pills does it normally take to cure? We usually need two and a half bottles to do the full treatment. We treat for three weeks. So when you see me in the mornings um, uh, smashing pills, that's what I'm smashing. Our dovey girl is wonderful. <laughs> so many pencils. 
Our Debbie girl is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, when on on the cats, what we look for on people, it is generally that circle. That's why they call it the, the ring worm. But it's not. It is not a worm. Um, on kitties, the first thing we look for, the first two things, is a little bit of fur loss and then scaly skin. Hey, Jaden says hi. Cool. What a good what a good kid. What a good boy that is. Thank you. And no, we have I don't know if anybody's gotten a video of the butterfly room or not. I've got to go talk to Angie, but I will give you for those that missed it a quick update on Jimmy. He is out of surgery. He's in recovery right now. And um he did have a tumor. It was not on his stomach as they thought. It was on the colon. Oh, hang on, Midnight. Um, it was on the outside of his intestinal tract, but the bad thing is, is it did break. It had burst, and that's why he was having has been having so much pain the last few days. Yeah, thanks, Jaden. And um, but he is recovering. They are doing a biopsy of it. And Jimmy wants to come back ASAP. He's been texting me every day. How's the horses? How's the dogs? How's the kitties? He misses everything. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish here. Not yet. No, not yet, Else Gates. They sent it in. I'm sure it won't take too long. He is. So his son, Eric, is filling in as is uh, Anthony. Yeah. Isn't that nice of Jaden? Yeah. All right. Well, I will be back later. Um, it is. It's hard. It is hard. Tomorrow, yes. I'm uh, so excited. It's, uh, oh, Pam, thank you for asking that. If anybody would like to send any cards to Jimmy, um, you are welcome. Just send them here to the Rescue Center, and I will make sure he gets every single one of them. That, that would really mean a lot to him, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Say hi, Jaden. All right, let's get your pillow. Um, I think so. Jenny's coming too. Oh, Jenny.